Welcome to another episode of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. And today we are going to make lavash bread pizzas in your oven. It is so easy to do. You're gonna love to make these. You're, you'll find that you can put whatever toppings you like. And I have a few of them that I had handy at home. And then there's um, many more options I'll mention too. So let's do it. Let's have some fun. And the recipe will be in the description below. All right. I buy these at Trader Joe's. I love them. Whole wheat lavash bread. They're delicious. They crisp up really quick and they get nice and crunchy. They're nice flat bread to hold all the good toppings that you want. So I line my pan with some foil and then I put just put the lavash right on top and just use any pasta sauce um, that you have or pizza sauce or you can make your own if you wanna do that. But if you just wanna do something really easy, just do it like this. You just put some sauce on top. This is something I love to make when we're wondering, you know, what sounds good for dinner? You don't feel like going somewhere. And you just wanna do something easy and quick, yet kind of fun. And anyone can make their own toppings, whatever they like. I think we had my niece and nephew over one time and we all put on whatever we liked which was a lot of fun. Do a good amount of sauce. I love sauce. I could use extra dipping sauce. So get that on there good. All right, that's that. You start your cheese. Just use a nice mozzarella cheese. You could use any cheese you have. It doesn't even have, if you don't have that, you say, oh, I only have Monterey Jack or cheddar. Go for it. It's, good. it's gonna be good. Any cheese is gonna be really good. But if you want it more traditional, go for the mozzarella. Put a good, nice little amount. You could do as much or little as you want, depending if you're, you don't want so much cheese on it. You could uh, make a, a healthy version with just very little cheese, or I mean, you could use reduced fat cheese. I'd rather just use a small amount of regular cheese. It melts up better than the reduced fats. I've tried those in the past, and I'm not much of a fan, but maybe you have one that you like, try it. Oh yeah, and for with the pasta, I like pasta with pizza. I like a little red wine. So I opened up a little bottle of Cabernet and that's what um, the drink of choice will be for tonight. So cheers. Okay, now we've got our cheese on here. Now you can start your topping. Tonight, this is what I had. I was going to make a different kind, but I didn't have the ingredients. I had frozen meatballs in that we like that are turkey meatballs in the freezer, which is another nice thing to have on hand. I'm just gonna cut them in half. I just heated them up. So easy, put them on top. So I'm gonna make one with meat and one without. If you have people in your house that are vegetarian, do it like that. You could do so many toppings. So a couple of them I will tell you, you could add jalapenos, you could add bell peppers, and you could add some red onion slices. You could caramelize them first. Now I'm gonna just layer some Roma tomatoes that I sliced up. I like Roma tomatoes. I buy them a lot and just like to have a few on hand. And I'm going to put some Kalamata olives. And I bought these at Trader Joe's. They have them everywhere. You could use black olives, you could use green, you could use any kind of fancy ones you find. These are really good because they're salty, they're really good in salads, they're really good on pizza too. It makes a, it a little more interesting when you can have just a little more flavor on it. So there you go. Now I should have told you before this, but I'll tell you now. Turn on your oven and heat it, preheat it to 375, and then it'll be all ready for you when you're ready to Throw your pizza in there. One final thing I love on my pizza, and I'd say this is the secret ingredient, simple Italian seasoning. It adds a lot of flavor. You smell it and you just go, oh my God, it smells so good. This takes it a little over the top. It just makes it extra good. If you just even put this just on a cheese pizza, it just really gives it a lot of flavor. I go, I go for it. Just put a good amount on it. I'll put it on both sides. When I first started doing it like this, I go, oh, Moji, we gotta do this all the time. And he likes it too, so it's so good. All right, now that's it. I'm going to, look how pretty this looks. Look how fast that was. It's so easy to do. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go put it in the oven and I'll set timer for 15 minutes and then I'll check it. It may need a couple minutes more, you just want it nice and brown and crispy on the edge. All right, so now let's check our pizza, even though the timer didn't go off, let's just check because it might be ready. You don't want it to get overly cooked. All right, it looks nice, a little brown on the edge. It looks perfect. So we're taking the pizza out. Okay, so here's the tomato and then the olive pizza. Here's the meatball pizza. How good does that look? Uh, let them cool for a little bit before you take them off. And another good idea too is spray your foil with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. That way you won't have any cheese runoff and sometimes it'll get stuck to it. So do a little bit of spray first. And then now you're ready to cut them up. So I just cut them usually into four pieces like this with a pizza cutter. I just transferred the whole foil over. I cut a little bit of this one. I'm gonna put it on my plate. See how pretty it is. And now I'll do one of the tomato. It's so good. You hear it, you hear it crunch. You cut it. You know it's gonna be really good. So I went almost to 15 minutes. I went to 14, but depending on your oven and where you live, you might want the full 15. You might want to go to 17. So just check it. You'll know. And look at this. Put it on the plate. And that's it. An easy, make at home, healthy, nutritious, delicious, using what you have. Just make sure you have those whole wheat lavash breads from Trader Joe or from wherever you find them from. You could also use regular pita breads. You could use little round ones. You could do that too. Throw it in the oven, you've got a great meal. So thank you again for watching another fun episode of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. We're gonna be back next week with something sweet. So mm, you're not gonna wanna miss this show. Uh-uh. Stay metal. <laughs> and then you can taste this yummy treat. I'll taste this one. Mm, let's get a bite of this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why get pizza anywhere else? You can make this at home. So good. Cheers. Mmm.